like it up here. I did 20 years in the military, man. I've been all over the world. I, mean, I grew up here. And I'm not doing with the army. I came back here. Nobody will you see. Pigs and gators and snakes, and that's it. You Christian. have my map. Christian's the navigator. We are in the woods. We're in the woods. We don't know if we're in the right spot. So we're gonna do, shh, come down. We're gonna do quick confessionals really quick. Um, so who's gonna go first? Let's do rock, paper, scissors. Ready? I'll go first. Okay, <laughs> uh, I'm excited, but scared because I'm the last and only line of defense. <laughs> if anything were to attack us, Dewey said I needed a firearm, but I have a small knife. Hopefully that's going to work. I don't know if that will work against Bigfoot, though. I wasn't really concerned until our ride wasn't really clear how to get us here and went the wrong way. So that was a little concerning. And then when he dropped us off, he really tried to say that we should have a concealed gun for protection because there are crazy people out here. So wasn't worried before that but now maybe a little bit. The biggest thing I was worried about was that I uh, had to get up to go pee four times in the middle of the night last night, which that could be a little bit challenging in primitive camping, you know, in the dark, but I'm ready for this adventure with my kids, you know? So currently I'm feeling pretty good, pretty excited, um, but I mean, I didn't really want to come, honestly. I kind of was really just nice and cozy in my winter, break um vibes just being home and not having to do anything but i kind of was guilted into coming so um i didn't pack my bag i have no idea what's in it i'll be fine i'm here now so i have to do it hi <laughs> everybody ready the butt. So we actually went the wrong way. Oh my gosh, look at my shoes. where we are I've turned on GPS cross trust the little tributary and um, I think we need to follow the tributary and it's gonna get us to the Swanee can I show you on my map okay but this is not a trail that is correct but we need to follow it okay you trust me okay we might have to jump over multiple times yeah that's okay we have extra socks and waterproof shoes We're supposed to be doing that too? Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah. Okay, you guys are gonna end up in the water. I'm going up higher. Okay. Racing to the end of the river. Do you think I can do that? Keep your hands out. Walk sideways. They could like pick us up in a boat and cross us yeah, or something. Well, well, they could find you. Yeah. Because you, you have to be by a road at some point. So. Our plan was to leave our car at the finish and then take a shuttle to the start and then walk to our car. The main shuttle dude wasn't available, so he outsourced it to Dewey, is who picked us up this morning and drove us. But Dewey got lost and kind of just went to the general area we needed to get dropped off and just told us, yeah, we're here. 
but we needed to be on that side of the river. And there's no way to cross. So Jane's on the phone with some rangers, hopefully. Yeah, because we're far enough in to where like... We can't go back. <laughs> like we literally can't go back. Like what we just did was hard. That wasn't even a trail. We were just like bulldozing through the woods. Maybe there's bad service. Well, now we're dialing 911. What'd she ask? Is Claire still with us? Wow. Can you put these straps on, please? I've been holding them for the whole time. I've been holding my, my waist straps for like the past 20 minutes. In a great angle, Christian. Well, I can't see. How's that look? So very good. I look crazy. Oh my God. What about now? This bag is uncomfortable. How dare you? Okay, we're getting rescued by rangers now. The 911 dispatcher lady said to be careful for snakes, which I wasn't really, they I mean, weren't really on my radar, but now I'm like hyper aware of if I see anything, you know? Did you by chance, have you seen the shoals, the rapids? No. Can you, no? No. All right, so you're possibly above them. I think the idea was to walk through that, but I think we got dropped off beyond that. Yes, ma'am. Um, well, what I'm going to do is I've got a set of volunteers out there, and I'm going to head that direction. But I'm going to have them go up Long Branch Trail, searching that way kind of north of our part. So you're saying we've already been on this trail? Yeah, this is when we went first, and then I checked, and then we turned back around. Hey there. <laughs> Three hours in. We'll probably have walked a mile. <laughs> and we're lost. And 911 is on the way. Yeah. I think naming this a confessional is a little off because I have like nothing to confess. We didn't do anything wrong. We planned it correctly. We just were misguided, left in the wrong spot. Now we have to be, you know, rescued by the rangers, but. You know, it makes for a better story. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. I stepped in a puddle and my foot is wet, but that's only like one tiny little blip in all of our issues today. Started. So maybe it's legit that we did only walk 1.6 miles. We <laughs> literally didn't do anything and this is the whole first day and we're going to a camp. so dirty. I know. You did get dirty. I got so dirty. We're at a campground now. We didn't get any hiking in today. <laughs> 1.6 miles. 1.6 miles, which is, we were supposed to do 10 miles a day. So like that's not even close to what our goal was, but that's okay. Cause we have this really cool campsite, Stephen Foster Memorial Campground place, um, which is where the ranger took us. And he's letting us stay here for free tonight, which is great. And this is supposed to lead up to the Florida trail, which is where we're supposed to be. with um, dehydrated plant-based chicken and nori 
and vegetable seasoning. And I don't, I don't know what that is. Mother, I I, I'm not the one to help you. You gotta wait for Christian. Great. Some sort of throwing star. <laughs> I think it's just like a tripod of some sort. How is this a tripod? I don't know. Maybe you put it, you like put it into there like that. I don't know. That looks I'll right. I'll figure it out. Oh, that's definitely too much. Not enough water. Hold on. It smells good. Too much water? Maybe. I don't know. It's all. Mmm. Okay. That looks good. That looks. That looks like chicken stew. Thanks. Is it too hot? No. Hot. Okay. Yeah, you can't see much. But this is our little picnic table. We just showered. There's a bathhouse over there. Our tents are over there. You can't see. But... Okay. Somehow, everything worked out. We're at a pristine campsite with showers. There's a campfire going. Food's being cooked. As crazy as we started, not on the trail. We somehow made it here. <laughs> no, we didn't hike that much today. And like we literally didn't hike at all, actually. We just walked around. One, we walked around 1.6 miles in the swamp, kind of. But when we got to camp, I was like really tired. Um, I don't know if that's because I'm not really that motivated to be here or because I was actually tired. Um, the only thing I'm nervous about is they have really good sleeping mats, which they like blow up and it's like basically a mini air mattress and I don't. I have that like foldable thing that like looks like styrofoam and it doesn't really do anything. It's pretty much just the hard floor. I'm more of like a positive person so I look at on the bright side. Yeah, it didn't go like it was supposed to go today, but we still like saw the Swanee River. We still still walked along a tributary that had these like big cliffs along the side. We still saw like a little bit of white water, so that was cool. We forged our own way, which was like super high like adventure, you know. We didn't play it safe. We had the excitement of calling 911 and having a uh, ranger Pittman come to our rescue and we ended up in this great camp that we wouldn't have seen otherwise with a lot of history. You know, overall I think it was a great first day. Not as much hiking, but that means our feet hurt less, right? So, looking forward to tomorrow. Looking forward to Claire having more fun. I think if she really, like, you know, tried a little bit, she'd probably get her brother's inflatable sleeping pad, and then her night would be more enjoyable. I was gonna close it out for the night, but just look at this cool, look how cool this is. Christian made a lantern. So basically, um, a wizard. yeah, he's a wizard. Wow, it looks so cool I'm in the camera. I'm so impressed. Look how cool it looks in the camera. Waiting for you. Waiting. Oh, come on. Come on. 